Hello, my name is Carrie Cottle and welcome to Read Aloud with Ms. Cottle. Today we are reading the book Infinity and Me. Enjoy! Infinity and Me Written by Kate Hosford Illustrations by Gabby Swiatkowska Published by Carol Rhoda Books The night I got my new red shoes, I couldn't wait to wear them to school. I was too excited to sleep, so I went outside and sat on the lawn. When I looked up, I shivered. The sky seemed so huge and cold. How many stars were in the sky? A million? A billion? Maybe the number was as big as infinity. I started to feel very, very small. How could I even think about something as big as infinity. At school the next day, I asked my friend Charlie how he imagines infinity. That's easy, Uma, he said. It's a giant number that keeps growing bigger and bigger forever. I thought about trying to write that number down. Even if I lived forever, I would never finish. I went to get ice cream after school with my best friend, Samantha. Sam, I asked her, when you think about infinity, what do you see? I see the infinity symbol, she said. It looks kind of like an eight that fell over and took a nap. If, I were a ra if it were a racetrack, I could drive around it forever. Samantha made me feel a little better. Writing that symbol wouldn't take long at all. I traced a napping eight in the dirt with my shoe. Before school the next day, I asked grandma how she imagines infinity. She smiled at me and said, I like to think about a family. First, you have the great grandparents, then the grandparents, parents, children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. It could go on forever. I couldn't really imagine that many people in one family, but I did realize something. It was hard to talk about infinity without talking about forever. I also realized something else. Not one person had noticed my new red shoes. Not even grandma who usually notices everything. I looked down to make sure they were still shiny. Then I started to wonder, what would I like to do forever? At first I thought I might like to have recess forever. But if there's no school before recess and no school after recess, is it really recess anymore? Maybe I'd like to be eight forever, but I didn't know if Samantha would still wanna be my best friend when she was 85 and I was still eight. Maybe I could lick an ice cream cone forever, but what if my tongue started to hurt? Actually, my head was starting to hurt from all these thoughts. When I went into the lunchroom, I asked our cook, Mr. Mancini, how he imagines infinity. He held up a noodle. How many times do you think you could cut this in half? He asked. I cut it in half six times but then it got too small and i was afraid i might cut my finger instead of the noodle in your mind mr mancini said could you cut that tiny piece of noodle in half forever i asked ms reed our music teacher about infinity and wished i hadn't Picture music that goes in a circle, she said. 
The notes would lead us around and around. The music would be endless. I was starting to think that my questions about infinity might be endless. It was time for me and my red shoes to go home. For dinner, Grandma made my favorite meal, butter, chicken, and rice. As she mixed the spices, she looked at me and said, Uma, I meant to tell you this morning, those are the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. That night, I asked her if she would like to look at the stars with me. Snuggled up next to Grandma, the sky didn't seem so huge and cold anymore. Now it was more like a sparkly blanket covering us both. Author's note, can you remember when you first started thinking about infinity? Perhaps it was when you first started wondering about the biggest number that exists or maybe you and a friend had a conversation like this. I know the names of a hundred dinosaurs. Oh yeah, well I know the name of names of infinity dinosaurs. Children quickly learn the power of infinity, especially when they're trying to impress their friends. People thousands of years ago also knew the power of infinity. Such a limitless idea made them uneasy. In 1655, the mathematician John Wallace started using the symbol to stand for infinity. The snapping eight is called a lemniscate. It made the idea easier to write, but not much easier to imagine. After I had children, I was interested to hear what they had to say about infinity. I also talked to other children in kindergarten through second grade about this concept. Here are some of the things they said. Infinity is a made up number that's supposed to be the last number, but it isn't really the last number because numbers go on and on. If you start counting to infinity, you will die and you will still be counting. It's an expression that means a number that goes on forever. A number that no one can believe, infinity is no one can count it. All the responses were smart and thoughtful. These children understood that infinity is an idea that can also act as a number. They also understood that infinity doesn't behave in the same way others num other numbers do. For instance, you can't add infinity or subtract from it, and it will still be infinity, which as one student said is hard to believe. The children I interviewed also thought about infinity in other creative ways. Infinity is when you ask what's outside the galaxy and then outside of that and so on and on and on. Infinity is on earth because new people keep being born. Infinity is a journey around the earth on a plane that goes forever. Why is the idea of infinity so important? People who study math, astronomy, physics, philosophy, and religion all use it in different ways. Infinity helps us think about questions like, what is the size of the universe? Or how many points are on a line? Or can your love for someone last forever? In this book, Uma listens to everyone else's definitions of infinity, then she comes up with one that's right for her. My challenge to you is to find your own way to imagine this idea. How many ways are there to imagine infinity? An infinite number. Just close the book and begin. That was infinity and me. Let me tell you, as a kindergarten and first grade teacher, I hear the word infinity a lot. I have a lot of kids who say, I want that times infinity, or I have infinity dinosaur stuffies or whatever it is they have. And you know, the concept of infinity is pretty incredible, really. It's a number and it's also a big idea. But one thing that I think will always hold is the phrase, I love you to infinity. I love thinking about these big ideas as an adult and I love talking to children about them. So what do you think? What does infinity mean to you? Hmm. I would love to hear about it if you want to contact me and let me know. Take care of each other, everyone.